Remember that if you would like to support this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. All it takes is a dollar a month. And now, our feature presentation. Yeah, that fight turned out to be nuts. But I'm thankful that's behind us. Let us move on to part 7 of Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Let's talk to Beast. What a dreadful debacle this devolved into. What happened to your cheery outlook, Beast? Oh, it still stands strong. It has merely been temporarily trumped by the megalithic magician and his flaming facade. At least we got the reality stone, right? Indeed. A fortuitous finding we could never have anticipated upon arriving in this dismal dimension. I am excited to examine it upon returning. Home? Oh, right, the X-Mansion. Calm your concerns, comrade. This Sapphire scientist has friends with formidable facilities all over our world, and on countless others. I see. You cannot destroy the darkness. He's right, you know. Dormammu feeds off this dimension's endless arcane energies. He can't die in this place. But we most definitely can. And if Dormammu spills this black magic into our world, he would be unstoppable there, too. Of course, without the Reality Stone, he can't merge our dimensions together. And without the darkness to fuel him, he wouldn't last long. So, if I can open a portal back to our plane of existence, perhaps we can take the stone somewhere safe. <gasps> Or at least, somewhere safer than this. We came here to escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world would we ever truly hope to find peace? So, tell us, my dear sister. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us, we stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... So do they. Well, this is sad. We've arrived inside the Yin Kingdom. And this is where the Inhumans live, on the moon. The Inhumans were pretty much the result of, well, Marvel trying something new to pretty much rid the X-Men, because, well, ugh. It's not like they don't have much else choice, right? So yeah, as per request, I've decided that we will be doing things with a special cat with a special team list. This was requested by YouTube user Javier Muna, and they are as follows. We have are you sure? I'll give you Deadpool. A to your mind. On the other side, we also have the anti-hero Venom. We are Venom. And the next being, of course, Wolverine. You best. You Last but not least, Star-Lord. You can consider this a very special request because I insisted. Not to mention we got like a whole slew of advantages. And yeah, all of them fit the bill very well. And this is the team that I'm going to be using for this part only. Part 8 is going to be one for Big Cammy, though it depends on whether or not I've gotten the other characters unlocked. But yeah, we need to persuade the Inhuman Royals to help. That's not going to be easy. For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We need a safe place to examine the Infinity Stones, Queen Medusa. We know of these stones. 
and the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adelin in jeopardy. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. Maybe it's time to put aside our differences and find peace between our races, your majesty. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. I seem to recall our people fighting alongside each other more often than against. And with the Infinity Stones in play, we'll need every hero we can get. Unless you plan to hide up here forever. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. It might be easier to ignore what's happening on Earth, but the Black Order is trying to get the Infinity Stones so that Thanos can destroy it. Can you just sit on your throne and let that happen? I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. Okay, what's going on? Yep, we now have to tend to inhuman royal family matters. Must we really have to waste our time with this? And yes, we're also going to be taking the opportunity to level up the rest of our squad. And yeah, a team like this is going to help. I'm actually going to be mixing things up. Really? And this also means I can also level up the level up everybody. So there's always that. There is always that, of course. Nice, Venom Fang. There you go. Now we can actually deal more damage. Nice, Star Lord level up to level 10. And he unlocked the new ability, burning it up. He's going to be needing it. That's a job well done. Hurry. We must deliver him to the infirmary at once. If we, we better step on it. Help fast, he's not going to make it. Thane! Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or oh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. 
If you're lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. Wait, so Thane is Thanos' son? Well, this just got ugly fast. How can I help you? Is your father really Thanos? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact. Seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. So are you an alien like him or an inhuman? A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orolon. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. You know anything about the Infinity Stones? Only legends. And none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Legends can always be rewritten. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Somewhere safe. Don't try to rest. And... No. Nowhere in Ottoman is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> Who the heck's this clown? Further damage. You focus on the alpha primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you dare betray our people. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? Ah, the silent treatment as always. But I'll give you something to talk about. Just you. Level up. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is just one messed up family tree. I swear it. Oh, and yeah, that I'm also acquired some. Nope, that's not him. No, not him. Him. Yeah, that works. And I may as well upgrade him, too. That's going to help us out. All right, back to the operation. <laughs> All right, let's start wrecking people. Okay, how many more do these guys we have to deal with? Eat lead, you insipid whelps! Well, that dealt with him. Now we're having to deal with an inhuman family matter. And now, why has it got to be the inhumans of all things? I thought Marvel did away with this junk. You may have power. But you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. You're a real piece of work, Maximus. I swear to God. You're a real piece of work. Real piece of work. And we all know in the Vinny Labs, we also unlock Rift Rewards. Meaning, basically, by completing these, you also unlock new costumes. Anyway, let's head to the lab and do some alliance enhancements, because we need to upgrade ourselves and prepare ourselves for what yet to come. And this also means I'm going to have to grind my butt off, so that way I can be able to max out everything. 
Yeah, especially since they get the experience up. Because I want to at least get my hands on that. And in order to unlock that, you have to actually clear out everything. I kid you not. Although some of these buffs are actually pretty much helpful. Alright. So now at least with this, we can be able to press on. At least it's catching up, obviously. The Inhumans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter, but I guess this is my battle now. Yeah, but you joining us means a lot. The first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even close. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. So we are not his family. We refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways. I see. So it seems to me Maximus and his band of loot, Maximus really wants the throne that bad. Now, basically, the Inhumans are pretty much something that Marvel wanted to make since if I, if they weren't going to get their hands on the X-Men movie rights, they may as well do the next best thing by killing off the X-Men altogether. Which, to tell you the truth, was not the best of intentions. In fact, those intentions were pretty poor. Extremely poor. So, they came up with the Inhumans. And the Inhumans are a whole new beast on itself. In fact, it was like a bad thing that... Marvel is trying really hard to get rid of the Inhumans. Since, well, if you never heard of the Inhumans TV show, you obviously are rather not want to know because that series ended after just one season. And it was so it was just basically a pet project to a Marvel director. Now we got a butt hits. Wait, since when did Inhuman have a huge blaster? Yeah, he's back in nice attacks. I was insane, but I know exactly what I'm doing, and I relish every twisted moment. Maximus, it doesn't have to be this way. We can help you if you let us. By locking me away in a palace again, I think not. Come on, is that really all you got, man? Save some for me, bub. Now that's what I call team. Now we got the entire team together. This should be an interesting change of pace. Your pathetic attempts to resist are almost adorable. What a joy. Wow, I like how he has a shield that he can use to block attacks. Yep, we're dealing with Inhuman Affairs. In fact, yeah, the Inhuman series was just so bad that I swear it only lasted one season. That and everything was just a bad idea from the get-go. Mostly because Marvel was bitter at Fox for not getting the movie rights back. That's why the that's why the X-Men were not in Marvel Infinite. A game that's alright, but yeah, it was a game that was just basically a walking advertisement for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And a very poor advertisement at that. Is there any wonder? These guys just don't know when to give! Die, die, die! Yeah, while everyone else is busy dealing with these things, we can just keep building up Ultimate Alliance Cage. Nice, Venom levels up. 
Yeah, and this also double can be good training because some of my characters are on a level, then bringing like a high level character really does help. I don't know, that can depend on you! We already got him below half. And he seems to be not in a very good mood. Yeah, you also gotta watch out for when he lobs those stun to those stun blasts. Over here. I can generate enough amber to protect you. Stay close to me. Thanks for the advice. I'll make use of it. And yeah, Amber also doubles as a defensive weapon. You never listen to reason, do you, Star-Lord? Goodness, they learned their lesson. <laughs> Gotta go after this guy. <laughs> nice, my lord. You leveled up, but you still got a long way to go. Work out well, did it? Yeah, Star Lord, you're a bit late. No, Venom's down. Really? I hate it when they have to keep doing that. We are far from done. Okay, back to attacking. Ooh, you don't say. That all, dude. Because all you're doing is making it worse. Oh, my God. 
Come on, this is the best you guys can come up with. Oh boy. Yay, Venom, Venom's a trooper. He can handle it. That's a letdown. We at least knocked them dead. Good work, guys. Uh, curse you. Is it uh. clear now who wears the crown? That is a relief. We knocked down Maximus, and that was taken care of. But boy, oh boy, that was not an easy fight. What can I do for you? You really proved yourself against Maximus, Thane. We'd be glad to have your help in finding the final Infinity Storm. What do you say? Maybe. But if the Black Order is out there searching for it, having me on your side might put you in even more danger. I can't take that chance. To be fair, they're probably gonna find us and try to kill us whether you're with us or not. Well, when you put it that way, it's not an easy choice, I know. But you may be our best hope of turning the tide. Right. No pressure. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. Bucky? This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they plan to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with the stone in hand. But it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. Yeah. These are the coordinates Bucky transmitted. So, where is he? Yeah, I'm gonna end it here because I want to save this for the next part to enjoy the show. Not a long video, but I thought it would be a bit longer. But hey, not complaining. That's going to be it for this part of Aven of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It all helps to my benefit. Want to see this through to the end? Please show your support. I can't stress it enough. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.